Hey, hey artist! Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to paint wavy black fur. Now for this tutorial, I am using oil paints for my demo, but I know you can get the same effect with acrylics as well. I highly recommend getting a slow drying medium if you want to work with acrylics. Now, if you're craving more help and want the full real-time tutorial complete with my voice walking you through every single moment, paint mixing recipes, reference photos, and more, I think you will love the Wildlife Painting Academy. New tutorials are added each month, and it truly is your secret weapon for learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily. You can check it out in the description of this video. All right, let's jump in. So here I'm starting off with ivory black and basically I'm just using a large brush to kind of map out where the different features of my fur are going to go. I like to use a really big brush at this phase just to make sure that I'm not getting into any detail and just so I can cover more area more quickly. Now that my sort of sketch is done, I'm going to be working with a large filbert brush and I'm going to start to block in the darkest part of my painting here. And I'm using ivory black and yeah, just trying to block in that area. Since I'm working with wavy fur here, I'm making sure that I'm carefully carving out the shadows that are really going to show the shape of that fur. So now I'm going in, I'm adding a little bit of titanium white to my black to get a gray tone and I'm going to start to fill in the next lightest shade. This is still going to be very, very dark and I'm still working with a really big brush. I'm going to continue working through my painting here kind of filling out those blank spots with lighter and lighter gray. So I'm still working with a really large brush here, but I'm adding a little bit more titanium white. And since I'm working wet into wet, we're going to get a little bit of blending happening, but that's okay because it's going to help us to build up some subtle highlights so that we don't overwhelm that really dark fur. Again, because I'm painting wavy fur here, I'm taking care to make sure that my brush strokes are basically mimicking that fur. So I'm adding a nice bend to those brush strokes to show that that fur is actually wavy and has some nice flow and structure to it. You'll notice that I'm still working with a really big brush here. I always want to be using the largest brush possible so that I can move through these different phases of my painting more quickly. And also working with a really large brush prevents me from jumping in with detail too soon. So now moving to a slightly smaller filbert brush and going in with a bit more titanium white. Again, I'm working wet into wet here because I am working with oils. And this is why I highly recommend using a slow drying medium if you are working with acrylics, but we're gonna start to build up those highlights a little bit more. When it comes to really dark fur, less highlights is definitely more. You don't want to overwhelm that dark fur by having too many highlights. You want to be strategic in where you're placing these. So now I'm going in with a fluffy dry brush here and I'm going to do some light blending to get those brush strokes to flow together nicely. This dry blending at this phase is going to allow us to build up a really beautiful soft foundation that we can start to actually build our detail and our highlights into. 
So now that we're all blended, I'm going in with a little bit more of the titanium white mixed with ivory black to get a medium tone gray. And I'm just gonna start to build up a little bit of detail here. I'm still working with a small filbert brush, which is still fairly large for the size of this painting, but I always wanna stick with the biggest brush I can for that particular area. So now I'm paying close attention to my reference photo, trying my best to stay with those nice curls, those kind of waves that you see in the fur, giving it a lot of flow and shape. So I put my painting aside for a few days so it could dry, and now I'm gonna go in and add some detail. I'm gonna start by using ivory black with some medium to thin it out, and I'm gonna start by carving out those shadows again. So I'm done carving out these shadows. Now I'm gonna go and build up some detail with my lighter tones. Here I'm using a small round brush that comes to a nice fine point, And I'm just basically using nice flowing brush strokes in order to build up some of that fur texture and detail. So this is where painting wavy fur is a lot of fun. There's so much nice texture and flow and shape to those individual hairs that kind of make these really nice sort of clumps of fur that just have such a beautiful shape. So this is always a lot of fun for me to paint. Some of my brush strokes were a little aggressive for my taste, so I'm taking a dry blending brush here and I'm just give, you know, taking the edge off some of those brush strokes with a very, very light hand here. So I put my painting aside for a few days so it can dry completely, and now I'm going in with some glazes. So black fur is very rarely actually truly black. It actually does reflect a lot of colors from the environment, and sometimes that black fur is actually a really, really dark brown. So up until this point, we've only really used ivory black and titanium white, so our fur is very monochromatic. But I wanna change that. I wanna give it a lot of life and some vibrancy, even though we still are just painting black fur. So I'm starting off by adding a glaze to my shadows here. So this is gonna be a glaze that is basically made up of burnt umber. Um, and this is gonna add a really nice warmth and liveliness to those shadows. So since this black fur is also really shiny, those highlights are gonna be reflecting a lot of the environment. So I'm envisioning this animal, maybe it's a dog with some you know, wavy black fur, maybe it's outside. So those highlights are gonna have a nice subtle kiss of blue to them. So I'm going in with a blue glaze here using Prussian blue, and I'm adding just the tiniest little kiss of color to those highlights. And this is gonna do wonders for creating some really beautiful and dynamic black fur. So now I'm going in and adding my final highlights and details into that wet glaze layer. 
I like to work these final highlights into that wet glaze because it makes it look a little more diffused so you don't get these really bright dramatic unnatural looking highlights and details it looks a lot more natural and soft And we're done. So hopefully you learned a lot about painting realistic black fur. Here we had a lot of fun painting this wavy black fur. It's always a pleasure to, you know, paint some fur that's got some nice shape and flow to it. Now, if you want even more detail on how to do this with the full real-time tutorial with my voice walking you through every moment, you even get the camera that is pointing at my palette so you get to see as I mix things as I go along. If you're interested in all of that, then I highly recommend checking out the Wildlife Painting Academy. There is a link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If there are any animal or wildlife subjects that you really want to learn how to paint, leave a comment on this video and I will add it to my list of tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.